Hello and welcome in to the Sora Data Game Week 467 preview. I am Andrew Laird. You can find me as Lairdinho on Sora. Joined once again by Harry Trades of the Harry Trades YouTube channel to break down this weekend's extravaganza of matches. I'll put it that way. I actually have been dreading this game week, Harry. I have like so many injuries or suspensions last week, bad matchups that I've been, I was kind of hoping I could just let this game week, we could just skip it, but we can't. Apparently there are other people who are excited. Yeah, it's not all about you, Led, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, no, massive, massive weekend. I think, am I right in saying that this is the first weekend we have literally everything because Brazil comes back, right? I would assume so. Like, are Maybe we the last anything? ones we were waiting on, right? I think so, yeah. They're literally the only ones that haven't kicked in yet. I'm sure of it. To be honest, I mm -hmm. thought we still needed like another week with them. But um, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I think they come back. Yeah. I think it's, yeah, all in. All, everyone in the pool. Let's go. Uh, thank you, everybody, in, for coming in. Uh, Toby, first in. Interesting game week. Feeling optimistic that MMD can carry me to glory. There are a lot of people who are very excited about MMD these days. Kev heard what's mm -hmm. up. And Arthur on the podiums. Congratulations, you guys. Kai said, let's go Hansa Rostock this Friday, which is not something I ever thought I would read, but <laughs> let's go. Uh, Dream of Living. Next game week is huge. Is this huge because, like, important or just because, like, hey, everyone's back, so we'll see. Jorge, what's up? From Portugal? Love it. Love it. Just Mike it. What's up? Tuggy, Bob Franklin, appreciate this. Uh, Harry, did you see that the MMD unique traded today? I didn't know. Who did that I don't go think to? there is a more hyped player on SoRare right now than MMD. Um, I'll just pull it up right here. Um, and by the way, we have a new player page. Or at least a, a new uh, price graph, excuse me, excuse me. Hmm. If everybody wants to like, just kind of hang out and you can see everything right. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, okay. That's fun. I can look yeah, at this price graph. Cool. Everything, everything's just going up. But anyway, um, this unique trade, Harry, is the hype is real when you see a a Joey look. Veerman oh. and a uh, Caveradonna. Is that what you call them? Cravadonna, yeah. Cravadonna. Super rares. Plus David Turnbull. Wow. Turnbull, yeah. <laughs> Matt Brown. He was good for a little bit. Yeah. I swear. That's funny. Was. There's well, there's cards on either side of that trade that formerly played for Cardiff and now play for Cardiff, which is quite fun. There we go. Um yeah. okay. Yeah, that's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Mm. Every, I think everybody wins in this one. Everyone right, wins. Yeah. Anyway, uh Nixon, what's up? KB, can't wait to clap all the noobs in D5 with my team full of stars. That's <laughs> uh, Scosmo, what's up? SR Monkey, haven't missed anything yet. Super Totoro. Oh, that's a fun name. Sam, what's up? Excited for the Liverpool special this week. Oh, that is this weekend, mm. isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Um, Tuggy said we have the goat at the top of contenders. I haven't seen who's at the top for this weekend. Because like I said. Yeah. It depends on position. Yeah, I was hoping that it was just not going to happen. So, we're, so what's <laughs> up, Laney Quinny? What's up from uh, Barcelona? Yep. Kim Tae Juan, 100 incoming for real this time. Nixon, you owe me 100. So, um, <laughs> yeah. so rare. Andre, what's up? Pepeta. Um, MMD is the toppest of top tiers. How about that? Um, Toby said the 25A only from passing two games in a row is what gets me about MMD. That's just free AA. And then <laughs> Alex, exactly what Harry and I were talking about before, pray for Magnus Matson. We need him back. Although, to be honest, as I was telling Harry, I would happily <laughs> take him back the following game week, and not this one. <laughs> Forts of Midgeland. And uh, Redder Dead 69 what's up? All right, let's dive right in. Um, but I had the screen set up, and then I had to go away for the MMD uh, unique. Um, <laughs> So let's see. 467. We'll start an all-star. PSV. Oh, Man City. This is wild. PSV home against Vitesse. Man City at home against Luton. Inter at home against Cagliari. Bayern at home against Cologne. Bayer Leverkusen home against Werder Bremen. Liverpool at home against Crystal Palace. Celtic at home against St. Mirren. My God. Benfica home against this team. I'm not going to even try to pronounce. Morensen? Morienz? Morenese, I think. Morenese? I think. I think. I don't know. It sounds too Italian, but I'll, I'll give it to you. <laughs> <sighs> I, I mean, where's, of course, 
sporting the one who has to be the first away team on this list. Um, <laughs> Toby's already saying it. Just stay away from champ and challenger this game week. Yeah, it looks frightening, doesn't it? Um, I think, uh, yeah, along the lines of what Quinny's saying there, Leverkusen could win the league. I'm pretty sure PSV can win the league as well. How have they not? I know. Well, they had that little blip, didn't they? They had a couple of couple of weeks where I think any yeah, NEC beat them a couple of weeks ago. And That's right. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but they look to be back on track, and I'm pretty sure they can win it. Okay. Um. Yeah, no better way to do it than at home to Vitesse. Because, yeah, why wouldn't they be at home to Vitesse? I mean, that's a pretty so big what's, gap. What's that, nine points? Nine, yeah. I guess there's what? How many teams in the league? Can't be 20, is there? Maybe less? I don't know. But anyway, I think they can win it. Um, so I'm sure they'll put on a show of some sort for us. Well, those who have cards, of course. <laughs> um, is it Hervin season? No. I don't think it is, is it? No. It's just, it's Five just to play. Not. Five to play. So that'd be four to play after this game week. Let's say they both win nine points. Uh, I don't know. No, maybe they can't. That doesn't make sense, does it? It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't add up. No, maybe I read that. I don't know. I thought I saw yeah, a tweet saying that, but clearly not. But that's a nice little run in, isn't it? Jesus? I was just saying, <laughs> <isn't it? You're laughs> like, <laughs> what the hell? That is ridiculous. Vitesse away to Hirenveen, home against Sparta, away to Fortuna, and then finishing home against Wallach. Oh my God. Mm, Was there a playoff in Eredivisie? I don't think so, no. I didn't think so either. Um, no. Just Mike, it does bring this up that there could be rotation for a lot of the teams that were at the top of this list because they yeah. had uh, midweek matches, mm. but. But not for, PSV. <laughs> not for PSV. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, yeah, City, 1 million percent. Um, but like the well, rotated plays in are still going to score crazy well. But they are, they rotated slightly for was that yeah. yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Um, well, De Bruyne was sick. Well, that's true. That's right. That's right. So and then like Vardiol shouldn't have played. Well, not shouldn't have. Like he was like not sort of down to play and did, and obviously scored an absolute banger with his right foot. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they'll definitely rotate for this weekend. Bayern, yeah, you'd off, you'd, you'd have to argue the same. Can it's they can thing. they afford to rotate? Well, yeah, good point. But like, I sorry to cut you off there. I think like no, no. this is the last week where they absolutely cannot. Like they can't drop points now. Right. Yeah. No, that's fair, that's a fair point. And like about the teams playing on Thursday, so you got Leverkusen, Liverpool, Benfica, um, and Sport. Are Sporting still in European comps? Yes. Yeah. So like. A majority of them, they're on that top sort of 10 list, let's say, are all playing Thursday, which is pretty late, really. I know they could play, like, they'll probably play Sunday. So, you know, they still got a decent amount of rest, but it's not like playing Tuesday and then playing, you know, Saturday, Sunday, you know. So I, maybe I said that so confidently. I actually don't think they're still in. No. Who did they? I can't even remember who they went out to. But, um, yeah, like someone said earlier, I think Tobe said, yeah, challenger champs could be really, really... Um, well, yeah, just will be a high-scoring game week, as they normally are, but, yeah, even more so, maybe. Did they... I was going to say, they, they played Atalanta, but I didn't. I don't remember two legs in that one. There's one and there's two. Yeah, fair mm. enough. Out. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Ricky and uh, Rico Mon. Appreciate that. Strong reminder that Sebastian Coates has no midweek utility anymore. Although, really, nobody does, I guess, right? Well, yeah, that's that's the way it feels, right? Um, oh, yeah. But, no, there's some massive matchups there. Really, yeah, really there big. Are. Uh, like Daniel Cooper, Byron so far behind. I don't think it matters, but KB97. Byron have to be careful not to drop out of the top four. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. That was a real good point. Um, Inter must be close to winning Serie A. As much as... 16. Ah, oh, that's ridiculous. God. Yeah, so, you know, like when he said, it probably is done this weekend then. Um, Inter's wow, 14. That's, that's huge as well, yeah. That is wild. That must, yeah, that must be close as well. Anyway. Uh, uh, all right, let's dive into the contenders. I noticed you and Quinny start with champions uh, on the Friday show, which I respect, we'll <laughs> and I'll disagree. Speaking of Quinny, Celtic, massive favorites. Uh, the next highest minted team, where is that? Zagreb? Dynamo Zagreb, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hearts? LDU Quito, 
St. Pauli. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, let me just make sure we have all the, or like what we're missing. Some Chinese Super League, K-League. Not, I don't think anyone important. Shout out to Wuhan Three Towns. <laughs> yeah, nothing crazy. Tianjin Teda, Alexander Graham played, they, uh, they played earlier today. Mm-hmm. What is today? Wednesday? So yeah, we'll have those odds when they come up. But anyway, it, this doesn't seem that bad. Doesn't feel like many teams are playing there, does it? What's going on here for contender? Though it feels like we've got ten thousand leagues there, and maybe only like fifty teams are playing. <laughs> La Liga, yeah, is like no, there's Serie B. We don't have like a ton of league de players. Mexican, anyway. there's everyone in Mexico. I know there's the league's not huge, but everyone in Mexico, everyone in Argentina play. I think so. Okay, maybe I've just. I don't know. That just didn't feel like a long list, but maybe there Yeah, was... no, you're right. Although, to be honest, we're at 50% here and my little scroller yeah, sure is about a tenth of the way down. So maybe it's just that there's nobody that... My God, it's all right. Here, this list is absurd. Okay, yeah. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> when you first scrolled, I swear it wasn't this long. Or might yeah, maybe not. I, I might have just quick scrolled it and then... Uh, right, okay. Yeah, there's, mm. there's Hansa Rostock that somebody was looking for earlier. That seems like a... <laughs> a long shot maybe this weekend yeah big time big there's time. our boys uh, uh emma brietta yeah with my goalie being dropped which is just fun oh no yeah um, anyway let's go to the top here so Celt- like, all right so yeah yeah the, the celtic one like i'm not obviously not as sort of qualified to speak on them as as quinny would be in that sense but like saint Mirren aren't like that bad yeah like i think they're like top five i'm pretty sure maybe even higher I know yeah, it doesn't mean much. Doesn't I know mean, like, what you're going to say, but like if it was like Livingston at home, fair enough, right? Yeah, yeah. But this is not like a guaranteed clean sheet type of Celtic game. Uh, uh, it, it means Celtic's be... never guaranteed clean sheet. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know. I, I, I should have definitely added that, but it's <laughs> definitely a, like probable to score three, I'd say. Well, yeah. What's the chances there? 50, yeah. 58%. Very, very high like compared to the rest of the, the pack. And yeah. Yeah, you know, forward forwards wise, you know, it could be a you know a Matt O'Reilly slash whoever Maeda, you know, those sort of boys. Um, but defensively, I, I'm sure they'll score well. It's just I, I don't know if the clean sheets like you know a, a given, which you know it never is. Yeah, in any I mean, game, but the opponent scores seem terrible for for Hart at least goalie wise, and even the defenders. It's like they maybe they you know it's that team that scores every game, but they only get two shots on target anyway. So right, um, we'll see. Surfila is reminding us. Argentina split between this weekend and the midweek. Ooh. So Interesting. GG's to everybody who gets the midweek ones with no nothing but all-star. Um, <laughs> Toby said St. Pauli should be a possession banger. The three center backs will get all the passing AA, which I love to hear since I won one of their center backs last week as a tier five. Wow. That's He's fun. dreadful, granted, but like. Yeah. Um, Does he stop? He has been starting. Right. Sort of. But like, eh, you got some 35 AA in here. That's what you want. Yeah. Yeah. I know nothing about this guy other than I won him as a tier five. Yeah. I've never heard of him, to be fair. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Holstein Kiel. They've been good Spurs recently. Rock. Yeah. Good old um, uh, Machino. The XJ mm-hmm. guy, he's been he's been scoring pretty well recently. Uh, Rapid, could we have be quite Rap- fun. Yeah, Rapid Vienna here. Where is Austria Vienna? Yeah, they had a great matchup last weekend. Last week about. they did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's tuggy season. Club America and San Frecce right next to each other. Oh. Uh, where did they go? I, th- I uh, nope. Oh. Rapid, there they are. Away to the pellets. Good old pellets. I think they play them back to back. Okay. Because I, I think they're, this is like the middle of the relegate or the, yeah, this is the relegation bracket that they're in. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's what mm-hmm. the case was. But yeah, not that great. Right behind Brand. 38%. Saul at home to Poto. A Pohang, sorry. Mm, okay. Keys nothing's, nothing's jumping out, Quinny. No, uh, nothing. Good. Seems really 
it just seems fair. Like we, right. we all have a yeah. shot now. <laughs> Especially, yeah, well, that, like we mentioned earlier, can, uh, you know, if Champ and, and Challengers are really, really punchy this weekend, is it the contender week? Because I've, yeah, especially at Limited where I've been playing for the Road to Glory, like scores haven't been that crazy so far. Yeah. And I, I think that might just, yeah, follow in that, um, in that trend again, because I'm not seeing much here that could like completely dominate, you know? I just, that's funny. Says the guy who's going to dominate contenders this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out Challenger since we saw PSV before. So we've got PSV, the three Portuguese teams, Benfica, Porto, Sporting right away, Feyenoord, AZ, jeez. Leeds, 70%. Is that Black? It is Blackburn. Yeah. It's Swansea getting up there. Southampton home against uh, Watford. And then Fenerbahce. There's Gala. Ugh. My God. Mm. There's a couple of big. And the MLS. MLS special is over now, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was telling you on that, I was, I just dawned on me like how more, how much harder challenges is going to become, right? Because there's just going to be so many more lineups in there now um, than before. Because yeah, a lot of those powerful MLS cards would have been in the in the weekly, and they're not anymore. So, do you think that the people who were playing the in season, like the MLS tournament, are more likely to play in season challengers or like Cap Two Forty? Because threshold, that's another way that you can get cash from your lineup. Mm, good point. Um, yeah, it, you know, it's all going to depend on how many cards they have, right? But like, yeah, it seems dumb to play how good, yeah, new like, season cards in cap 240 since you don't have to, but right. And like, it depends, yeah, like I bought a loop, you know, an Acosta. I'm not going to play Acosta in 240. So yeah. it's like, and I bought him for MLS Special Weekly. So he's going to transfer straight over to, to Challengers. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, if you did it on like a like a really tight budget, then yeah, they they. I mean, why can't they be used as as 240 cards if you are really limited in in the you know you don't have that many cards? Yeah, I can see that working. My other thought is, if you're somebody who bought MLS cards in any scarcity, mm -hmm. um, basically after promotion, excuse me, after the divisions were set up. So you pretty much have like only played the in season, like the excuse me, you've only played the MLS special you're probably in a lower challengers division because you haven't been playing it. So you're not getting promoted. Right. So if you are somebody who like just bought a bunch of rares and have only played the in-season MLS special, now you're going to challengers and you probably, because you haven't played, you might be in division three, division four even. Mm -hmm. And now you're just like, oh yeah, let me just plow these cards in there. So I wonder if the lower divisions will be more competitive, more like harder to win now because those cards are coming in yeah i think yeah as long as the cards they were using in mls like weren't that good on paper in right. that like they wouldn't have been placed like you said in d1s and d2s but still didn't bother playing them yeah that could be um a really a really um yeah strong d3 d4 maybe this weekend especially well and and in d5 maybe in in limited yeah right right yeah, hmm. we'll see. We'll see. Or or actually, Go it'll be somebody's like third lineup that they used to only put in two, and now they're putting in a third because they're moving that from the the special into challengers. Yeah. That's what I'll be like. I've got so many challenger lineups possible this weekend. It's ridiculous. Like normally I can only play one yeah. and one, like one in season, one normal. Now it's almost well, it's definitely it's three in season. It could be one classic to like it's five now, basically, you know, across yeah. the two mode so yeah i think that'll be i think yeah challenger numbers are going to be massive and brazil are back and brazil's back <laughs> so like it all happens on one game week right right uh so we've got at least from the mls we had um red bulls at home against chicago new york city fc home against the revs we got carlos heel in a tiny field in new york and they got demolished by club america last night in mm -hmm. mexico city so they're coming back Plenty of time, but he played a little bit off the bench last night, which is absurd when they lost. They were down 10 nothing on aggregate, I believe. Um, anyway, Toby said, I'm going from one to two challenger lineups to five or, five or six. Wow, yeah. That's it. That's what everyone's yeah. going to be doing, I think. Yep. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, Flamingo 
I th- Flamengo, are, are they the top Brazilian team that we found? No. Well, I don't know if we have cards from any of these. Not that Flamengo mm-hmm. is like heavily minted, but they do have plenty. Yeah. Um, okay. Bruges, home against Antwerp. There's Besiktas. This is basically at the 50% mark in terms of win percentage. So it's not mm-hmm. it's still favored, but not that high. Atlanta, home against Philly. Vancouver, home against the Galaxy. That'll be fun. That'll be goals. That will be goals. Maybe Ricky Pooj will actually get on the score sheet. <laughs> yeah, he's allergic to scoring goals, isn't he? It's, it feels like it's going to be one of those that like, yeah, but when he, and it's like, how many does right. he have? And you're like, not none, no. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, PSG got Reynoso. curious at that top. Reynoso oh, yeah, Reynoso still in Argentina. Well. He basically should just go play for River Plate at this point. What is he doing? Like, that is my luck, isn't it? I go and buy the card I've waited for for so long, and now he's gone AWOL. He's not AWOL. They know where he is. He's just nowhere near where he needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> They know where he is. I mean, they know the country. I don't know if they know the city. (laughs) They know where he isn't, and that's in the office to get a green card. So (laughs) that's crazy. Uh, Sam said, I bought a full MLS Vancouver collection, won 200 pounds over the three game week. So now I'm free rolling it over contender divisions for the year. Challenger, challenger, not contender. Challenger, yeah. Toby said, I picked up Robin Lott as soon as I saw the Reynoso news, which uh, mm. Gator guy actually picked one up before the Reynoso news because he was like, you never know. And so there he is. Um, all right. We've got a um, Yarbrough revenge game. San Jose hosting his old Colorado Rapids who looked at him and said, we don't need you. We'll get Marco <laughs> Illich. And then they sent Illich off to just disrespect. Anyway. RSL somehow favored at home against the crew. That seems weird. Hmm. And maybe it, so I was gonna say maybe it's Rammy season, but he's playing against Nico Mantle. So I'm like, maybe not, maybe. <laughs> yeah, please don't Let's be. Learn last man tackle season. <laughs> Nothing else seen. Oh, well, Heron Mead. Yeah. Hmm. LA, Montreal, Cincy away. Interesting. Corinthians Minero. Wow. Ooh, That's good. a way to open the season. Yeah. Is it Yari season? No. Didn't you send me something to do with I Genk? I, yeah. What was that? Is that like when they next play Genk? Maybe he. That's, I think, the uh, 26th. Yeah. Okay. So it's just over two weeks. I don't even know why I'm looking. We're not going to play him. No, never. But I just want to know he's fine. You know, like I, I do care for him. Well, next um, week. Oh wow! Okay. Or or do you think it's this one? <laughs> you know it's the other one. You know it's the other one. <laughs> this is exactly um, what's going to happen, Harry. He's going to take this week off. He's going to come off the bench, away to Genk, and get like mm-hmm. sixteen AA in four minutes. And you and I are going to be like, so seeing that next one, home against Bru- Circle Bruges, and we're like, let's go. And then we were like, oh, it's a midweek, and we're like, ah, whatever. U twenty three still runs, and then he's going to get hurt in the fourteenth minute. And then just miss the rest of the season. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Anyway. <laughs> it's a big one here. Wow. Angel and Copenhagen. Big. I don't know if they get any bigger in world in world football. <laughs> Will you be watching it, though, Led? That's the, the big question. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's the oh, only wow. team I watch. Okay. How do like, you watch them? What, what are they on? One football. Ah, nice. No commentators. Just crowd noise. And no it, it's way. great. It is great. No commentators. None. That's strange. Nah. It's <laughs> raw speed. <laughs> they can't get anyone to do that job. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Matson might yeah, be commentator this weekend. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, no, that's a big one. Uh, Rico yeah, Mon, you don't watch sporting anymore. I have actually never, not that I've never watched a sporting match, but like Premier League is not, it's like, I don't uh, illegally stream anything. Mm. so if it's not on an easy way for me to watch it i just won't um i also prefer commentators i was just kind of joking about the crowd noise but it i don't know there's something like cathartic about it with just li- listening to the fans and like i don't know yeah Feel, feels more like you're there right okay because like, like you don't have somebody yeah. just like chap you know chirping in your ear anyway <laughs> uh nothing else 
jumps out at me here. Yeah. Mm. Could it's be just a, it could be a, just getting blasted it's from a PSV. Body. Yeah. Yeah. Like and Benfica kind of, but PSV are just way more SO5 friendly right now. And Harry, there's seventy four percent to score three plus goals. Have you ever seen I've never seen it that high, genuinely no. I don't think I've seen above seventy. I don't think for a for a club match. Like right, yeah, uh, you fair, know, like fair, fair. France, Gibraltar, we probably have. Yeah, but, for sure. Yeah, yeah, that that is frightening, genuinely now. 74%. And you know what? Luke de Jong will probably still get 10 BCMs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but have you seen his streak? I think he's broken it now, but for like three games or so, he literally had like 14 BCMs or something stupid. Um let's see. It Last 15. Lot. He's got 14 big chances missed. But go last five. I'm pretty sure they could all come in the so last. So this is, so big chances created. So it's possible to get a big chance created and an assist. So like, I don't yeah, want to say he yeah, had yeah. no, well, actually, I guess we could see. So he had four assists. And that and an assist is not necessarily a big chance created. But right. the way I look at this is like, this is 22 possible decisives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And he's had... But Although 13 goals, my God. Right, yeah. Uh, anyway, last yeah five, last I'm five, pretty sure it's like 10. Nine. 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 <laughs> That's insane. That That's... is nuts. Nine big chances missed. Yeah. Is it I just mean, like yeah, a he... couple in every? So this was yeah. two. It was three and four, and obviously, in the... well, not obviously, but I guess it was. Oh, I missed, ah, a, I pen. missed a pen in one. That's so does so that weird. penalty, Oof. that penalty miss doesn't? Yeah, that one was wild. That penalty, that, that minus five for penalty miss wouldn't go in that, would it? Um, Do you know what I'm that, saying? Like that. No, that's this. That is the same. Yeah. Oh, so that counts as a big chance miss as well. Penalty kick missed. Yes. Does it? Yeah. Oh, so like a, a okay. penalty missed is minus ten, basically. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, on your graph that you just showed us, he had nine in five games. Does that penalty kick missed count as one of the nine? Yes. It does. Oh wow, okay. Because like because this penalty kick missed is this big chance missed. They both come together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ricky fun. said, so you're saying I shouldn't play Elo room this weekend. I'm not <laughs> sure we're gonna find him near the top of the pick score list, but who am I to <laughs> I mean he could do a raw now. He could get the the 60 AA. Like all he has to do is like save a penalty and mm -hmm. then not concede three or even if mm -hmm. he concedes three with the penalty like he ends up at 38 that's not so bad no it's fine it's fine what's his uh l15 are they going down are they that bad e they are really bad yeah they are really bad mm. like really bad that's what i thought they're like Dead last. They're like worse than Volendam. And it, wow. Excelsior plays Wall at home this weekend, which is absolutely Ooh. huge for them. Man, mm. that is so bad. You know. Anyway, sorry. Uh, quick look at champions. Although it doesn't have to be quick. Let's see. Man City, Inter, Bayern, Bayer Leverkusen, Liverpool, Arsenal, Lazio. Who I are they still minted? Still, um, yeah. Like I know we have a bunch of them, but I wasn't sure if we fully had them. Yeah, I think we do. Not sure their uniforms have changed in a thousand years, so like you can, I can't even tell if we have new pictures or not. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Sociedad, Napoli, everyone, Leipzig. That's sixty nine percent and above, and. It's kind of some big favorites. Brentford home against Sheffield United. The only thing that could happen here is obviously all the big Prem stacks teams go into Prem. Go into Prem. Because there's a lot of them this weekend. I was going to say, let's look at that first, actually, and then we can talk about everyone else. So, yeah, Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal, all 74% or above. Man, that's mm -hmm. like, that's so frustrating. <laughs> I know. Well, the Arsenal one, like they're playing Villa. Villa are bound to score. I'd be shocked if they don't score there. Liverpool, yeah, could be clean sheet Villa, as could the Man City. 
situation. The rest, yeah. I mean, hmm, Brighton could be Brighton season. Away to Burnley. I feel like you would normally feel good about that until you're just like, oh, but then the, those top three are just going to. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, it, it's tough, isn't it? Uh, well, you say that though. Do we even know who's starting goal for Man City? I know we probably might, but like. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I don't know. And then they all, and Man City has to rotate in some spots. You're not going to get like Foden playing, you know. There's going to be some players that literally won't play a minute. Right, right, which, right. I know they're going to bring in Alvarez, is Doku. Like, I was going to say it's Alvarez play. season. Let's go. Doku. Right, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But like Arsenal, do they, you know what I'm saying? Because nobody, everyone, I think there was two draws yesterday, right? Wasn't it? Yeah. Two, two or three all. So it's yeah. like. And they play next week. Yeah, literally straight away. Next midweek, yeah. Mm -hmm. Brentford, like, I think this could go into what Gator said yesterday with on, on the show you did with him, like, the Brentford stack there. Is it the Brentford stack at home to Sheffield that, yeah, that dominates? What's wrong with Ederson? Um, nothing now. He's on the he was on the bench yesterday. That's what I thought just Mike said yeah. Ederson would be ready and back from Madrid, but fair enough. Surely okay. you would want him to play this weekend to get him ahead, right? Like you probably would, wouldn't you? Surely to God. Um, um but like there's some really like yeah, Brighton, Brentford. I don't really count the Chelsea one because you just don't know what Chelsea are going to do. But like Forest, really? Because I feel like there are two players you definitely know what they're um, going to do. I don't know. No, who who would you say the two are? Yeah, no. Um, just two cards that I was told not to buy. That's all. <laughs> um, shout out to Con Connor Gallagher and Cole Palmer. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, let's see. There's a lot there. Lit. Like Fulham have been horrendous. West Ham at home could be nice. Forest at home, they've been really good at home recently. Like, honestly, it wouldn't so even though we do have some crazy good matchups at the top of that list, would not surprise me if we saw a few um a few lesser teams pop off there. If this season started, like I talked to you in September, <laughs> August, and I was like, just so you know, in, in mid-April, Burnmouth will be favored at home against Man United. Surely, like you wouldn't believe me. Nah, you no one would. I don't care who you are, no chance. That, yeah, that's frightening. And like the matchup indicators are like really, I mean, like the mid defense and goalkeeper. A goalkeeper is ridiculous, 64. Yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah, that, I don't know. I don't know what to say about United. I know they got a good result on the weekend, but like they're so hard to watch. Sorry to any United fans. It's really painful. Tuggy's a United fan. He's, he's saying 4 1, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Quinny's ready. Yeah. When he's ready for the Burnmouth stomp. Oh. Mm -hmm. So if we take them out of yeah. champions, we still have Inter, which there are plenty of Inter cards out there, but even though they're not currently licensed. Plenty of Bayern cards, but who knows who plays. Surely Leverkusen goes full-fledged to win the league. Surely. Weekend, right? like regardless yeah. of what happens Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, and then Liverpool. And, oh, I'm, we're going to skip them. Lazio. Like, if you take them out, Lerd, there's still some really cool ones, like even Stuttgart at the bottom there. Like, there's some teams yeah. that score goals here. Leipzig at home. Um, Bologna. Like, the, yeah, the, it's still going to be a very high score, and even if you take out the chunk of um, of Prem teams. I really do think so. Ren at home to Toulouse, that could be quite fun for you. Probably not, but... Probably not, but... <sighs> In my champions... I was hoping to get relegated last week, and I, I had a DNP... Yeah. An error led to goal and a red card, three different players, uh -huh. and didn't get relegated from Division Three. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> what, that what's impressive. a guy have to do? To I get know, it literally. Your division? My God. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah. who? How does Real Madrid line up knowing that we have the midweek? Mm, it'll be like Modric comes in. I think Nacho would come in. Um, outside of that, well, yeah, Rodrigo probably doesn't start, so they probably go Brahim Diaz. Yeah. Um, I mean, basically, out. Here, Yosulu get in, yeah. Uh, I don't know, actually, good point. Uh, maybe, yeah, it could be Yosulu, Vinny, and then like maybe not Bellingham, it could be you know, yeah, Brahim in there instead. Um, yeah, I'd be shocked if Modric doesn't come in. 
Um, maybe Ardagula for half an hour. Um, but yeah, <laughs> maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Certainly not for 90. My God. No, not for 90. No, don't be silly. <laughs> Who else do we have? Uh, Luca, yeah, Lucas, Lucas Vasquez maybe Vasquez, for, yeah. for Carvajal. Um, so Bios. So Bios. Uh, Yeah, Militao's back, which is fun. Like he's is obviously, he? a, yeah, 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 yeah. There was he's like rumors. not back back though, right? Like mm, like sub back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's not going to start this game. Mm, I I highly doubt it. Yeah. yeah, what's the point? Right. But like yeah. they also <laughs> are playing Chua many back there. So right, yeah. Lana, they want him back as soon as possible, even though Tua Many was actually really good yesterday, despite the uh, SO5 score. Um, I mean, that's what three all does to you <laughs> on the Matrix. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You, you can only do so much, right? But um, yeah, no, he played really well, actually, Tua Many. All right, let's jump over to some pick scores. Who are the best players for this game week for just overall? Let's see. Oh, it's got to be Viaman, Buscat. Yeah, I was oh. literally going to say. Oh, literally the three. <laughs> look, look at that. Five out of four. Uh, five, five out. Four out of five. Sorry. Four out of five. Yeah. Or, or we could go seven out of five. No, five out of seven. I can't get my math right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. that's that is not good. Jeez. Oh look, and the, only, and the only player I, I own from that team is nowhere near that list. <laughs> <laughs> no, I lie. I actually own another one, but he's obviously he just can't get a look in. Um, also nowhere near the list. Yeah, also nowhere uh, near. So he's going saying MMD would be number one if we had odds for uh, maybe maybe. Yet. Still early. It's only Wednesday. We might get him. Yeah. Uh, let's see who else we have here. Trezeguet? really? <laughs> he has been smashing. I think. Well, clearly with the L5, but yeah. Look at that. Modern day Bacchusatis. <laughs> Reincarnation. Um, yeah. It's Rodrigo. Somebody said early in chat that yeah, Rodrigo mentioned might... something about wanting rest. Oh, did he? Yeah. Well, he, yeah, I, I think he does rest. I really do. Mm. Wow. Yeah. I mean, they've got Rico Lewis that can come in there because he didn't yeah. play yesterday and probably might have played if Guardiola didn't play type of thing. And yep. I, I know they can't afford to do much ro rotating in the back, but yeah, I really think Rodrigo comes out. Kovacic might play again. He played really well yesterday. Okay. Really, really well. All right. Uh, let's see. We got Ryan Gold at home. He hasn't been it recently. No. Like really hasn't been it. Just that 32A... Yeah, but this is the back end of these the home stretch for them, the home, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my goodness! You Look don't at want this. to go. Away. Yeah. Oh my god. Waiting Sounders, New York, and LAFC, and then Sounders and, again. Oh, in Colorado, like that's a at and elevation. Colorado. Yeah. Oh my god. And Gator then Miami Gator at home. Grave. Yeah. Good job you paid off that stack, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Robert said he might get four big chances missed this week. Mm. Oof. Yeah, that's good luck to any money. Uh, anyway, show Sasaki, everyone's favorite, Youngman son. Oh, your boy. Ooh, there he is at home to Guadalajara. Did he Isn't end up it? playing this week? Yesterday? Uh, it's tonight. It's tonight. Tonight. All right. Yeah. All right. Somerville. We'll Somerville Who? blank last night, led. Did he? Yep. They like, all why does it was that make me feel good. I feel so it bad. That it I makes know, me feel yeah. good. It does make you feel good. I know it. Oh, I say blank. just the sixteen AA. Okay, yeah, I mean, nil nil. That's home to Sunderland. Tuggy saying the goat at the top, Biscagli. Unless he's talking about Sasaki, I feel like Probably, Show is yeah. his goat. Anyway. Son away to Newcastle's a weird one. Like I get it, but I don't. Um, hmm. I mean, he's been fine, but it's that good to me. Yeah, but two of those are career. Like, come on. Um, Somerville linked to Liverpool. 
Wow. I can't think of a team that probably needs him less than Liverpool. Yeah, that that if he got well, I was going to say because there's been rumors of Diaz leaving. Oh, I was just about to say, is Diaz locked in? There? Yeah. Well, yeah, he's like his dream is to play for Barcelona. Apparently, like he really wants to play for Barca. Yeah. So huh. I don't. Know. Same. Yeah, I mean, it'd be, it'd be fun. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> there's Grimaldo. He seems pretty low, just because like, we're always used to seeing him at the top. Yeah. Lewis I guess Morgan. this is what happens now. Like you said, everyone's in the pool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally. Um, if anyone in this chat has put my boy Teze down to not start, then shots fired. Go, go fix yourself. What is going on? Still a triple A, though. We'll take it. Yeah, yeah. Look He's actually that. come that's really a, good. That's the chart you want to see, Harry. That's beautiful. That's as beautiful so, as it get. Look at that. I yeah. That is, what more can you do? You can't do any more. You literally can't. No. Tom to Vitesse. The, the five markers are all stretched out. <laughs> love it. Love it. Can't really ask for more. Let's see. Everyone else. It's a lot of triple A's led. It's a lot. Like, it, they're just. It's so many players that are playing. I now. know. I know. But that is that is actually crazy. This dude from Montpellier is last. He's or good. Nordin. Nordin, yeah. He was at Saint Etienne and like he's just smashing right now. There we go. I see you. Mm. One of those uh, champion Europe players that nobody ever would want because you've never heard of him. Right. I guarantee you Genesis is gonna tell us that he was rated better than Mbappe in the chat right now. Because he was like I've seen Genesis. I mean we all know Genesis knows his stuff, but I I just distinctly remember Genesis saying that. And it probably was true at one point because he, he is quite similar in how he kind of plays. But, like, um, I mean, he's showing it now. Better elf. Has he got a better elf five than Mbappe? Maybe. 69 for. Could be close. Oh, they're off this week. Mbappe or PSG is oh, yeah. off this week. Well, they played tonight. Yeah, they played tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, it was probably Genesis before said there were a few League One teams that were off. It was PSG, oh, okay. Lille. It's probably all the European, all the uh, like midweek teams. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. No PSG, Marseille, or Lille this week. Ooh, Postponed okay. rest for Europe. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Anyway, um, Tuggy was saying his goat is the top in contenders. So let's go there and find <laughs> out who the top is. Or is it show? I think show. There he is. There he is. And there's a Dreesy. There he is. The boy. Hmm. John Suter. What a time to be alive. <laughs> there you go, Tuggy. There it is. Um, I'm just going to quickly look at the top of each one. The whole three. of PSV? Yep. One, two, three, four, five... Where's your boy? All the way down there. Do you think if he turns to 100, he can work his way up the, the ladder? Or that um, not? It, maybe. Maybe. That's a, that'll be an interesting test case there, Harry. We'll see mm. if he moves up or not. Obviously, other players can move as well. But you're right. That 88% is a little weird. Yeah. I, he did get yellow carded on the weekend. So if anyone knows if he is suspended for the weekend, I would oh. be. Yeah, I'd be very disappointed if he was. I feel like he's missed a game though before, but doesn't seem like so many. That's what well, I wasn't even with them. Yeah, yeah it can't it be. A suspension. It? No. Yeah, it can't be. Okay. Here, let's uh, let's help the people out a little bit, Harry. Somebody's and ourselves not doing their job correct, lad. Somebody needs to be sacked. Well, I mean, you know, the ATA, I just can't understand it. Let's see. We've got Benitez, certainly Biscagli, Dest, Romalo. My God. I mean, oh. it's Teze. Huh? I mean, why wouldn't he? I mean, they don't have another right back. Really. Right. Yeah. Who else we got? Mm, Goose Till? Definitely. I do Tillman, Viermann. Yeah. Um, Shooting's missed the last. Till? Or the th I don't know. Uh, oh, he's back. Yeah. Mm. All right. Certainly De Jong. Dion Bakayoko. He's hurt. And then, I mean, it has, I thought it'd be Lozano, but no, if Lozano's injured, okay, yeah, so Tillman yeah. will play on the wing, which means, yeah, it will have to be either Gus Till or that shooting guy. Yeah. 
Well, maybe both. Uh, Can we get yeah, both? Yeah, it could be both. That's a 4-4-2, four, four, two, right? Yeah, that's like 11. a 4-2-3-1. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that works. Like Benitez is only at 88%. What are we doing here? Oh, seven yeah, so misses. And one so more, on, sabotage, one more on saying he's out. All right. If everybody can go in, go fix it up. Well, this, <laughs> this is exactly why we need to do this. Yeah. Uh, anyway. And then top in champions was Kane? Grimaldo? Verts. Okay. Where is double A? Such. What do you mean the form is bad? <laughs> What are we, Harry? What are we doing? It's those yellow cards. Three DAs in four games. Not good enough for the bot. I guess not. Algo says no. All right. U23? <laughs> this has to be Bakayoko right. Verts. No, yeah, Verts. Palmer. Oh, Dest. Dest, yeah. Verts, Bakayoko, Palmer. Yeah, there you go. It's wild, though, isn't it? Like, Dest's L5 there is only 55. I don't know, like, that's... Yeah, the opponent score is pretty high. He'll get the clean sheet. Yeah, fair enough. Win percentage is huge. He has been really good. Like, you just watch him play, and he's just too good for the league. He is. It. You just wouldn't expect... Like, if you're the best player... I guess it's U23, but, like, surely you'll have somebody who would score more than 90 once. Mm -hmm. I know. It, it is quite strange if you look at it that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Palm. I don't know. Sugawara at home could be really nice. That could be a hundred. Yeah. There, there, are, there are a lot of possible hundreds this week. That PSV one is so annoying. I know. It I guess you just really hope that enough people split them. You know, you play Dest and mm -hmm. Bakayoko and U twenty three, and then and Teze. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe we'll just destroy the entire site. <laughs> And Tillman as well, you got to worry about because he's under 23 as well. Yeah. There's the there's the Ampadu tease again. He actually played yesterday. He was ill, but apparently still managed to play, of course. Did I think he smashed as well? Like 75 80s just on AA. He did get a clean sheet, but uh was it? yeah. You have like a cheeky foul maybe at the end. I saw him at like 75. Not sure. Yeah, a little foul there, maybe. Cost him. Look at the passing stats though. 117. Uh, that is MMD territory, right? <laughs> it, it's getting there. It right. literally is. <laughs> yeah. um, where does MMD come up? Double. Uh, well, no odds, actually. So. Yeah, I was going to... Yeah. Still a double. Oh, my gosh. That's when... Actually, you know, you know what? His, his scoring history is probably mm. going to keep it down for a while. Because, like, it's a lot of this still. Yeah. But, man. Mm. It's a lot. It's a lot. What a player. We're going to end it on that. Um, so thank you, everybody, for coming in. If you could please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Shout out to Quinny, who was here earlier. For everybody who is getting ready for their game week right at the last minute, or at least the two hours before the literal last minute, Join Harry. You on it this week? I'm going to say you are, but like I assume. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm back. Harry I'm back. and Quinny, which start two hours before the game week deadline on Friday. I don't want to tell you what time that is because <laughs> different everywhere. But join them. I'll be there uh, and get all of your late news. It's perfect. Perfect show for that. So thank you, everybody, for coming. Please like this stream. Go over to Quinny's channel, Quinny3001. Subscribe. Get the notifications on so that you know when the show starts. And uh, like on arrival. Simple as that. Thank you, everybody. Harry, thank you. And uh, good luck this week.